I was like, babe, all I said it was boring. If you're gonna turn up to the Met Gala in a boring dress, expect the consequences. <laughs> I, know, I think because they've been on TV, they think they're better yeah. than not all of them. Some of them yeah, think they're yeah, better. Yeah. So sometimes they've got a bit of an ego, or like it's just like cringe stuff, like calling the paps on themselves and like oh, stuff right. like that. <laughs> I'm the ick, guys. <laughs> Isla's the ick. <laughs> Isla is my ick. Hi, I'm Lewis. And I'm Isla, and we're from Pop Pop Podcast. And we're spilling the tea with Cosmo UK. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Oh, okay, I think well, it's uh, as one word, loud mouth. Really? You don't think you're a loud mouth? No. Isla. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, um, I don't know what's the correct terminology. I'm not very good at English, but confident, but like confident in their views and opinions. Okay. Like you'll stand down on what you say. Okay. And like even if loads of people will come at you, you'll still like stick by I what like you say. like a politician. <laughs> Future MP. <laughs> and third word, I would say stylish. Yay. That's okay. Yay. Loud mouth, confident, stylish. Uh, mate, that's perfect for me. It's the grand bias. Yeah, word literally. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to have you, sorry, I have to steal the word stylish as well. Thank you. Um, I would say, I feel like you're kind of shy. I can be a yeah. bit shy, yeah. Kind of eccentric. In a way, Ooh, what does that yeah. mean? I don't know. I said, as you like, like, I'm really not good at English, rrr. but like, just like, like your, like your clothes are like chill, but like you're still out there at the same time. Mine would probably have been the Brits that just got oh, past yeah. interviewing at the Brits. That was surreal. Yeah, probably, that is it. Yeah, that was probably it. Yeah. <laughs> I interviewed Flo. I love Flo. The oh, with the group. girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're my girls. Um, who else did I interview? Eliza Rose, Mimi Webb, oh, yeah. um, Tom Grennan, just loads of cool people. And it was like nice to actually be there and do it all in person because I feel like I chat a lot of like crap online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to actually, for someone to be like, no, you can actually chat crap yeah, in real life like, as well. Yeah, I'm like, thanks the for the approval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I'm sure. That Everyone's pissed, that, about me as well. <laughs> that annoyed, someone spread a room because they DM'd me the other day and was like, oh, sorry for like making up the lie about you being sure. Wait, really? Yes. And like, they were like, oh, I saw you in real life. Like, like, and I couldn't say that I, they didn't see me in real life because they probably might have. Yeah. I was like, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says I'm short, but I think I radiate quite short energy online. I think you radiate oh, tall yeah. energy. Do you think, that's what I thought, but then I didn't want to like be like, <laughs> Yeah, like I'm actually like really tall. Like when I, I'm only five foot eight. But like, I would I'm still... never look at your social media and think you're short. I know, that's what I. Thought. That rumor is crazy. My wildest rumor is someone made a rumor that I went to Tesco and jumped in front of like all these eighty-year-old women and went to the front. And apparently, when the cashier said, "Oh, excuse me, you can't come to the front," like there's people in the queue, I went, oh, "I'm famous." I was just like. <laughs> It got like about 25k likes on TikTok. I was like, are you people actually believing this oh. right now? In what world would like even like someone like Justin Bieber or like Selena Gomez do this? Like what? Like I <laughs> so never right. do that. I was just like, it was the most ridiculous thing ever. Um, and That's then, so specific as well. I know. Time. And it was a girl from my hometown as well, which made it worse because so people thought it was true. Oh, yeah. And then my mum tried to get involved and was like, I'm, I know someone who works at Tesco. I'm going to get them oh, to confront no. her. I was like, mum, please, like, just leave this like alone. Like it will be dead in a week. <laughs> Well, my biggest ick is people who use the word ick. Because I love- right, well, I'm the ick then. <laughs> I, well, I actually go to say it a lot, but I just think ick has been, I actually, it's not, my beef is not with the word ick. My beef is what the word ick has become. Mm -hmm. Like when people are going like, oh, I had to break up with him because I got the ick. I'm like, well, that's not the ick. Like that's just, you not fancying him and like, you don't like oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll be like, oh, he ran for a bus. I'm going to have to break up with him. I was like, well, no, you never really liked him in the first yeah. place. Oh, <laughs> that's how I would describe an ick though. Really? Yeah, because yeah. I'm like such an ick queen. Like just like. Like what are your icks? Like, even in relationship ways, it would be people being, like, rude to other people, mm. like, waiters and stuff, or, like, really loud. I get, like, cringed... And then you just call me a loud mouth, so I'm like, I'm fucking again. <laughs> I get cringed out a lot when people are forgetful, but, like, or, like, like not good That's with their... But not good with their <laughs> vloggings, I mean. Like, constantly oh. losing their keys, or, like, constantly, like, oh, I don't know where my wallet is. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> me again. <laughs> I'm the it, guys. <laughs> Isla's the ick. <laughs> Isla is my ick.
It was a ski trip to Tomorrowland. Um, and we were talking about it on the train, like, it was like, it was good, but it, the crowd was like, a lot older. Mm, skiing Ski, and... Lunches, like Apre Ski. Like it, yeah, it was crazy. People always kind of see influencers as like a, like maybe rude or like don't really talk a lot. But at the Aless trip, like when I say every soul that I met and everyone that I was staying with was just so nice. Like, I feel like it's quite rare as well. It is. Yeah. It is very rare. Like for everyone to just be so cool. There's been some that I've just turned off and I'm like, there was no need for me to be here. Like this yeah. got this uh, this invite was mistranslated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or I I've just turned up and I'm like, why have I been invited here? Like I do not fit in with this crowd. It's like a sportswear <laughs> brand. Like I'm yeah. like, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't think of one that's like dreadful, dreadful. Mm. Slash, I would still probably work with any of that word dreadful. So I don't want to call <laughs> them. <out. laughs> People who aren't even like that big of Kardashian fans, we speak about the Kardashians yeah, so, so much. So much. As in, when I say we're not Kardashian fans, we don't watch the show. No. I don't think I follow any of them on social media. Oh, can't relate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we speak about them every week, so that's yeah. probably they're just involved in everything. They are like the meaning of pop culture, mm. really. Yeah, I like to speak about British things as well. Yeah, like British whenever thing. there's like British gossip, that's mm -hmm. the best to speak on because I feel like that's where we're most well versed. Yeah, I would have to agree. <laughs> Ooh, oh, not yet. Not yet. I've been in trouble with something I said on a YouTube video, though. I was supposed to interview, like, a celebrity, and th the day of it got pulled because I do outfit reviews. Okay. And I said that her dress was boring, and they found it, and they were like, mm, yeah, this can't happen anymore. Oh, really? I was like, babe, all I said it was boring. If you're going to turn up to the Met Gala in a boring dress, expect the consequences. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Basically, I if like you watch my TikToks and I've always like tried to like keep my mind like under the rats, like no one knows. And then someone came like exposed his name, so then I was just like searching because it was coming up in the search bar, so I was just searching. Did it go? Did it get many views? The, like, yes. Did it go, oh. Oh. Oh well. You're posting him now though, kind of. Kind of, yeah. We're getting just there. Kidding. You made the mistake of going loud on on social media prior to getting a man being like, I'll never post a man. And yeah, then now you've got am. one. Like, I'm in love, Crap. guys. <laughs> I'll search it if like I've been on a night out and I don't remember anything and I'm like, I hope there's no videos of me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. If I was to say anyone, it would be like Love Islanders. Really? And I'm not going to name specific names, but I think because they've been on TV, they think like because i guess t if you're a love islander you're sort of in the same sort of industry as like a tiktoker or an instagram mm. or an influencer yeah, so it yeah. is that sort of industry like you're not like an a-list sort of mm. like actor or like but i think because they've been on tv they think they're better yeah. than not all of them some of them yeah, think they're yeah, better yeah. so sometimes they've got a bit of an ego or like it's, it's just like cringe stuff like calling the paps on themselves and like oh, stuff right, like okay, that yeah, so i guess like those lot but yeah. not all i wouldn't like to paint them all with the same brush <laughs> I'm bad on a night out. I spend so mm. much money on a night out to the point where I'm just like, if I could just, w w I, I will not buy a top for twenty quid because I'm like, that's too expensive. Yeah. But a fifty pound round of drinks, no problem. Yeah. And I'm just oh like, oh my god, I was standing on spending thirty pounds on air fries the other day, <laughs> and I was like, am I okay? What's the most amount of money you spend on a night out? I don't, wouldn't want to know. Like, you haven't calculated. I, I don't check the next morning because um, I, I feel physically sick. Um, Podcast, definitely. Mm, 100%. And I'm excited to get guests on. A dream podcast guest, I think Doja Cat would be hilarious. Oh, yeah, Doja Cat. I'd love to get the girls from the Receipts podcast. Yes, oh my god, 20 Audrey and Milena. And they're yes. so funny, and I'm always agreeing with their point of views on their podcast, yeah. so I think they would be funny to have on. Oh, and my dad. <laughs> yes! My dad. Mr. Lover. Mr. Lover. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.